Hey everyone, it's Justin Benz, your Sarasota real estate agent. Today we're doing a walkthrough on this property for our buyers that just closed. 272 Indian Creek Drive here in Rotunda West. It's a 1,700 square foot home built last year in 2022. Um, as you can see, nice custom home, nice new build. We're going to take a look at it. I'm also going to break down what these buyers plan to do with it um, and kind of the process we went through to get them uh, from contract to closing in less than 30 days. So let's go take a look. So here we are at this brand new house built in 2022, 272 Indian Creek Drive. Um, it's 1,675 square feet. Nice custom garage here, fancy doors. As you can see, the mirrors build if you want to work out or something like that. Um, really high ceilings, extra storage room. They placed the water heater and the air handler in the garage here to save space inside the house. So really efficient use. Um, let's go take a look inside. So this house is located about 15 minutes from the beach here, just outside Rotunda West. So really great location for those vacationers coming down, which was part of the idea as the buyers wanted to use this for their own enjoyment and also to be able to rent it out on a short-term basis. So really great neighborhood, um, no rental restrictions, which is kind of how we tailored our search. And now as we enter, you know, the entryway here with these big custom doors, eight foot doors, you'll see we come into a very modern house here inside. If you're liking the home tour, please let me know. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to help you out as you go looking for a Southwest Florida investment property. Big 14 foot tray ceilings here in the great room. Um, this custom fireplace, which is obviously run on electric. Normally there's a TV there, a flat screen built into the wall. So like I said, this is closing day. We have not been able to decorate it yet. The, the owners have not even been here since it's closed. Um, they, they live out of state in Wisconsin. So I'm doing the walkthrough here with Barbara and just kind of showing you guys what they bought and how we came, came about to closing. So here we are coming in the main entrance. Obviously they did a good job with this great room, really high ceilings, 14 foot tray ceilings. Here's the dining space with a nice view out to the front yard. I really love this custom kind of quartz composite black um, island here that they made. It really gives a nice accent to the room along with all the nice brand new stainless steel appliances and black hardware. Obviously they did it right with these soft closed cabinets. They even did a built-in wine cooler here or beverage fridge. So they really thought of everything here in this build from 2022. Um, and that kind of flows right into this laundry area with a wash tub, washer dryer, and then direct access to the garage, which is kind of on the, the side of the house here. So, And on this wing of the house, it is a split floor plan. So on this wing of the house, you will find the two bedrooms. They're a little bit smaller. They all have these nice Moen fans built into the ceiling to keep you guys cool without running the AC all day. Um, they did a really nice job with the tile work in these bathrooms. Everything is really bright and lit up here. Looks really modern. They did a great job. And here's the second bedroom on this end of the house. So pretty easily fit a nice queen bed, two doubles, bunk beds, whatever you think. Now I'll bring you over to the other side of the house here. Again, this was 1,675 square feet. So it's a split floor plan. We got the two bedrooms and the one bath over there. We're back in the great room now with these huge 12 foot wide pocket doors. You can open this way up here to a lovely screen lanai. I think there are plans to put a nice pool out here in the future. There's plenty of room. Right now it's just a nice fenced yard offering lovely privacy. And again, no surprise, here we are 80 degrees in sun in the middle of April. So this is a very big lanai. There's a lot of different ways you can use this space. Um, they did hardwire it so you can put an outdoor TV, different lighting if you want. There's a nice barbecue area. It's about nine or 10 feet wide. So plenty of room for some seating, even a table. 
Uh, they do have these, these mowing fans built in again, so it'll just keep you nice and cool throughout the year. If you follow me through these massive pocket sliders, which open up the room greatly, we're gonna come into the master suite, which you'll find a decent sized uh, suite here, again with the high tray ceilings, easily fit a king bed here. You do have your own sliding door access out to the lawn or future pool deck. And as you head this way, you have his and her closets, which is great. And just another really modern bathroom with a massive shower space. Toilet over here. Dual vanity. So finally, uh, just to cap off the tour, they did put these eight-foot doors in throughout the, the house here. And that's what 1,675 square feet looks like in a 2022 build here in Southwest Florida. Uh, so just a little bit more detail about how we got this from a home search to a closed contract successfully. Um, these buyers actually contacted me online. They found my profile online. They were looking for an agent to help them buy a second home slash investment property here in Southwest Florida. So we had a nice discussion. We got them set up on a home search based on the criteria that they gave me. Um, so they did a little bit of research online beforehand. I would send them, you know, kind of daily emails with any new listings that fit their criteria. They booked a trip down. I put together a list of 13 or 14 properties and we actually got all in the car together. We drove around to every single property. Um, it took about four hours or so. Uh, we knew we liked this one. There was a couple others that were viable candidates as well for these buyers and, you know, that fit their needs in order to be able to invest or in order to enjoy it themselves uh, when they when they come down for vacation, but also to be able to rent it out, which was a very important um, requirement for them. And there's a lot of HOAs around here, which obviously restrict that. So we had to kind of do some digging through the weeds and make sure the rental restrictions were friendly enough. Um, this house in particular was actually listed at 525. We were able to put in an offer at 490. We got it accepted. Um, we went through the inspection period. As you can see, it's basically a brand new house, so the inspection didn't turn up any red flags. We pushed it forward into the financing. Um, they were using their own lenders, so you know they had a relationship already built. It was a very smooth process, if I do say so myself. The appraisal came back um, right on value, so. That obviously gives you peace of mind when you're making an investment that you're you're buying here at the right price. Um, and then, yeah, within a, a couple more weeks, we were just here at the closing table and now they signed their documents remotely using a mobile notary back in Wisconsin, sent me to go do a walkthrough, which I'll happily do, um, especially in a house as pretty as this one. And, you know, now they're going to look for furnishing it and um, probably some sort of property management. Uh, my wife might actually help them out because she does a couple properties around in short term rentals. But yeah, this is a very smooth transaction. Buyers are very happy and um, I'm very happy, obviously, because I get paid today. And so that's it. So there you have it. That was 272 Indian Creek Drive. Uh, we just closed up on this investment property here, which is also going to be used as a second home here in Southwest Florida, about 15 minutes from the beach. Believe it or not, we got it for under $500,000. It was an amazing experience with these lovely buyers from Wisconsin. They're going to be really happy. I think they're going to be happy with the rental results too, when they get it on the market on the short-term rental market. Um, and if you guys have any questions about investing here in Southwest Florida, please let me know. I'm happy to help and walk you through the, the process. As I kind of explained, this was, how it happened on this one, but every, every deal seems to be different. So I'm here as a guide and a resource. I'm happy to help. And until I see you on the next home tour, adios. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other videos. There's tons of content here that I've put together for you as you go along your home buying journey.